Welcome everybody. No opening, no red G, none of that. Yes, we know what channel it is. This is all about Sanford and Son, and it's going to stay that way. But as I've talked about in previous episodes, eventually there'll be an end to the series. And I said, hey, I'll do Sanford. I'll do the Red Fox show. You know, I'll do anything with Red Fox and we'll move on. And, and then even go back to the best of, there will always be plenty to talk about on this channel when it's based on Sanford and Son and the great Red Fox. So that being said, the other day something popped up when I was watching YouTube. I was just doing some stuff on it, some reviews and things, and I saw the royal family. And I know what that is. Anyone out there that is a Red Fox fan or even grown up in the 80s comedy, we know what that is, the royal family. I've only watched a few clips of it. I've never even watched a complete episode. Partially because I was just like, you're bummed. This is, you know what happens at the end of, of Red Fox here that he passes away, never even gets to complete the season or the series. Uh, but I go, you know what, it's never, you know, nothing. I didn't really invest any time into it. So I actually found the first episode and I watched it. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. The fact that it's Red Fox, but it's his humor, his perfect timing and everything he is, but slapped him with like an 80s comedy. And the ratings actually did great. This isn't a full review on it, which I will have one day. This is more of, I found a treasure that all Sanford and Son fans have to see. If you have not seen it, please comment below if you've gotten this far. But this clip that I'm going to show is something, I, I believe it's the fourth episode about baseball. And uh, his granddaughter wanting to play baseball and, and uh, Al, that's his name in the show, Al Royal. He doesn't want her doing it and the, the whole reason for it. But eventually we will have episode breakdown on this. That won't be for several years. So I couldn't wait. You know, I couldn't wait. I'm like, when you have this, this gem of something for all us fans, we don't want, I don't want to sit and go, we'll, we'll get to that in two, two, three years. No, 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 no. I said, I got to do this here. I'm going to make a short. I got to get this out there for anyone because I've been a Sanford and Son fan for 30 years, you know, 30 plus, And I've never even seen this clip. So as we get to it, what it is, it's setting up. Uh, Al is about to watch a baseball game and his grandson and granddaughter left. And then as he sits down, let's just, let's just let the clip speak for itself. Where is that remote? Oh, here it is. Just had to use my brain. <laughs> Today's right, game between the Braves and the Mets has been rained out. Mother, father. <laughs> rained out theater now presents. How great is this? How great is this? I lucked out. I lucked out. I love that guy. I love him when he called his son, you big dummy. I mean, how great is this? How great is the fact that that what he does is you get Sanford and Son brought into his show late in his career. You know, it, it's just such a, oh my gosh. And then you get him going, you big dummy, reenacting it, you hold his heart. I mean, that, I feel like, I mean, I actually teared up when I first saw it. When I actually first saw it sitting there, I didn't know. I had no clue. And I, like I said, I already seen the first three episodes. I liked it. And then when I get to that scene, I started laughing out loud and I started tearing up at, at laughter and partially sadness because you know, you like I said, you know this is Ian, but for him to do it one more time and to have never seen this, it's something where I said any Sanford and Son fan has to see this. Uh, and so I hope you did get to enjoy it. Share it, let it out. We, we let every person, if you could share this with other Sanford and Son fans or in your community on social media, get it out there because it is a scene that I I've watched the episode three times since, and I still love it. I it, I never get old, never get tired of it. It's almost like getting a behind the scenes of Sanford and Son, right? Deleted clips or something, but later on in life, it's just something that was beautifully done. I think whoever wrote it, maybe even uh, Red Fox did, great job. Thank you, and uh, go give the series a watch because we will get to it one day. We will touch on it. It's it is totally the '80s jokes, very family oriented, and Red Fox doing it. Him and uh, Della Reese. Oh my gosh. They are so comical and good together. Great show. It's a, it's a shame because I really think we would have got two or three, maybe four years of this great comedy had Red not passed away, unfortunately. So thanks a lot, guys. Give a like, give a subscribe, and you will still get Friday Fun Facts coming up. I'm working on that now. The Friday Fun Facts are going to be about all of, since we finished season one, a bunch of fun facts that I didn't even talk about in our episodes. Some of them I left out, but it will all be on fun facts of season one as we are done with that, getting ready to start season two on episode breakdown. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace.